We are here to go ahead and give you the best tips for Oogie Boogie Bash 2024. Yes, everything from the characters, attractions, and all those little details you need to know to have the best time at Oogie Boogie Bash. So squad, grab the snacky sacks, let's roll. Okay, the first tip in itself actually begins at seven in the morning, day of the event. Reason being is because if you already linked up your ticket to the Disneyland app, you're able to go ahead and do the mobile ordering for your food and especially for any of the popcorn buckets or sippers. And we're gonna show you where you can pick up those sippers in case you forget to mobile order, but very, very important. So that way you're not stressed about, you know, rushing here, you know, when the park opens up. Tip number two, Oogie Boogie Bash Mixin starts at 3 p.m. So you wanna get here beforehand. We like to get here an hour before 3 p.m. because there's massive lines in here but it is so worth it to go ahead and get some photo ops and get that fun started you guys know us and we love our oogie boogie bash merch but we definitely shop in the beginning of our day because it does tend to sell out if you don't make that mobile order this will be the first stop over at mortimer's market yes to pick up the zipper so once you get your merchandise early on go ahead and get yourself your locker so that way you're not carrying everything with you that way you can focus on getting those photos just a reminder, standard uh, locker, $7. The large one, $10, depending on how much merch you're gonna buy. The top three locations where you wanna go shop for that Oogie Boogie exclusive merch would be Five and Dime, The Boost, and also Gone Hollywood. All right, so a quick reminder in regards to the food again, go ahead and do that mobile ordering. We understand that if you don't take advantage of that early time to go ahead and eat, the rest of the night's gonna go by in a blink of an eye. So in case you miss your mobile order, don't worry, if you don't pick it up after midnight, it gets refunded back to you. And if you do miss the time slot, they'll still honor it for you. The cast members are amazing like that. Yeah, and then what we did want to point out is last year, they had a character meet and greet all the way back here. It was the Sanderson Sisters Hocus Pocus edition. Yeah. So make sure you guys are coming all the way back to the refreshment area because there might be characters on this side. And with that said, do pick your uh, character that you want to really get at first, that first wait, wait cube. It's gonna take you a few minutes, so make sure that you are properly hydrated, sunscreen, depending oh, on when you're coming in. That's a good tip. Prioritize those characters, fam, because those lines get massively long. Sometimes it's hard to get through every single character, so we definitely suggest make your top three and then go for those. Don't forget that your ticket comes with a photo pass, so take yes. advantage of that. Not only with the characters, but there's going to be lots of camera folks during the day and late into the evening who will want to take your photo. So Definitely. take advantage of it. And those downloads are free on your phone, so that's amazing. Including the attractions, which speaking of that one, we're going to talk about the time changes on that one, which come, come. Do note though that if you're here early enough, you know, and enjoying the park, up till two o'clock you'll be able to ride the normal version of it, and then it'll shut down for an hour. And at three o'clock, and then until the park closes, it's the scary like version. Um, Monsters after dark. Mucho más intense. Like it's crazy intense. Definitely worth it though. Captain. Oh my gosh, I hope Agatha comes back here because that's her meet and greet place, which is very cool. Yeah, no, and we're still waiting for the character lineup. But yes. an important note is to pick up your paper map in the beginning of your event. Yes, it actually uh, outlines, you know, the candy trails, like where the characters are. And just a quick extra pro pro tip, that Carthay Circle in the entrance when you walk through, uh, hit random characters, unique characters, actually go ahead and do meet and greets. We've met the Queen of Hearts there. We've met the Old Witch. I think Hades at one point. Pain and Panic too, oh, yeah. yeah. So it's very cool. So cool. Dress to impress, the costume attire. Yes, it is a lot of walking, guys, so make sure you are wearing super comfortable shoes. On top of that, make sure that your outfits, regardless whether you're a Jedi, a Superman himself, or Batman, you know, isn't dragging on the floor. You know, the same with the dresses. They want to make sure that it's um, not, you know, obstructing your uh, Ability to be to walk or get on the attractions and cast members will go ahead and tell you to be careful with that yeah the costume guidelines are on the website because there's also no masks for the, for adult. the adults yeah kids however they can rock them also if it's really hot you should probably wear a, a comfortable costume there you go mm -hmm. <laughs> oh wine country tutorial yeah something you don't want to miss is the frightfully fun parade and even better if you want a seated area wine country tutorial does offer a three-course meal for those seated reservations 
it's a three course meal it's too much to eat we totally get it you know you want dessert only they do have a, a parade viewing experience uh you know that you can sit down enjoy some del delightful desserts and drinky drinks or of course coffee tea lo que sea and enjoy it from this area that we are right here where there'll be seated areas and tables also that booth that we we're talking about for the merchy merch right behind us too right now we're walking the course of where the parade rolls now it's two parades a night that will go ahead and run one early in the event and then one closer to the ending of the night now there's many places to go ahead and see it arguably one of the best places will probably be over by the animation academy right by schmoozies where we showed you earlier just because it looks super pretty the parade starts over by the pixar pier like ball over by uh, the boardwalk pizza and then actually ends over by the tower but the reason we're bringing you over here is because this is the key point if you want to go ahead and view it and then get to an another event with like shorter wait times yeah and i will say this though that the second parade is a lot less crowded than the first one everyone's trying to get to the first one so if you want to wait for the second to avoid those crowds that would be your best bet in front of embarcadero is what arguably is the best spot to go ahead and view it. Reason being is because if the parade is coming from this area over here for the first show, it'll pass sooner than later. And then on top of that, it leaves you that whole entire back route to get to what is arguably the best thing to do here for Oogie Boogie. Ooh. Let's go show that real quick. Okay. The Redwood Creek, yes. So this whole entire trail gets transformed into Villains Grove with immersive lights and music. Do note that there's no candy or characters in this whole entire area but it is really worth it for the photos and the videos. Yes, um, on top of that, uh, just note that the best time to do this is just when the sun goes down or later on, because if you go too early, you're gonna miss being able to see some of those really cool light shows. One of the biggest tips is bring your own trick or treat bag because they give you tons of candy and yeah. they give you a bag in the beginning like this big. <laughs> That's not even enough for one trail, I feel like. Last time me and Eli brought it home so many pounds of candy. Oh yeah. Okay, we talked about how the Guardians has an overlay, a Halloween overlay type of vibe which is very cool don't miss out on cars land the, this is the best part of the park that gets themed that looks amazing yes. but more importantly not only does casa de la tires but mater's attraction have a halloween overlay and an extra pro pro tip if you are familiar with what shaboom is and if you've never seen shaboom go ahead and watch one of our gauntlet streams but at sunset they have a little show here that goes on it's not on the books not on the schedule very magical very cool to have yes and, with Halloween music, so yes. that's the best part. Oh, and there's even more. So let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so we don't know the full menu for what's available for Oogie Boogie Night, but we do know at least that Flo's is gonna have two types of chicken tender options, one spicy, one garlic parmesan. I'm excited either way. We got it. We're gonna have to try some of these items for that event. It's gonna be quite nice. Okay, so that covers all the tips. Actually, it, and even one that, like, that goes without saying, if you are not one for Halloween, but you like the rides, skip everything and go on the attractions. The lines are next to nothing. Usually we save the attractions for the very end of the night, short lines, have fun with it. Yes. But hopefully all our years of experience and tips serve you well, familia. All we can say is that have a great time. Definitely. And drop a comment down below if you have any additional questions or if we missed a tip as well. Yeah. And of course, if you take photos, go ahead and tag us on Instagram. We would love to go ahead and see them, share them, and see you in your awesome costumes. Yes. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, drop a little ghost emo in the comments. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one right there. Peace.